Recent research has hinted that humans could very well see the beginning of the universe with their own eyes. You might want to say hello to James Webb, the reason behind this discovery. In fact, in a span of a few months, we are expected to see the best quality images of the first star. But wait, what or who is James Webb? Are we really going to witness something spectacular or is it all just fluff? Stay tuned till the end of this video and you will have all of your curiosities satisfied. Before starting, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our beautiful space channel to get more updates on the space and tech world. That being said, let's begin. Scientists and astrophysicists have always tried finding answers to our existence just like every human being. If only we could go back in time and witness for ourselves how everything came into place. According to astronomers, the universe was formed about 13.8 billion years ago. That's how long it's been living for and hasn't died since then. At least, not yet. That's how long it's been living for and hasn't died since then. At least, not yet. But coming to the characteristics of the early universe, it was basically a big dense ball that contained simple elements like hydrogen and helium. However, the density and the temperature of the universe were really high. But eventually, as it cooled down, the formation of these particles gave birth to the world's first ever star in the universe, once covered in complete darkness. Sounds interesting, right? But what if I told you that you could finally have a glimpse of the first star formed after the Big Bang took place? No, this isn't some funny joke or meme that just popped off. James Webb has given researchers and space enthusiasts more hope than ever about a virtual depiction of the earliest galaxies and how they were formed. Before I go on any further, I would request you to please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And now that you have done that, let's move forward. Here I would like to state that James Webb that I am referring to isn't an astronomer or even a person for that matter. I know that James E. Webb headed the Apollo mission, but that isn't the James Webb I'm referring to today. But it is the telescope I'm talking about that is named after him. So, James Webb is a space telescope that was launched on 25th of December last year and was set to overtake and surpass the Hubble Space Telescope. However, as I mentioned earlier, the idea behind the name does come from a person, James E. Webb, NASA's administrator from 1961 to 1968, who was leading the famous Apollo mission. Before I go on about the James Webb Space Telescope and its recent findings, please make sure to hit the like button if you like the work I'm doing and subscribe to the channel. Now let's head back to our video. The James Webb Space Telescope is a uniquely engineered infrared telescope thought of years before. Infrared astronomy can give more detailed information about interplanetary dust, the temperature of planets and also about the stars. Moreover, the infrared telescope has the ability to give insights into the details of such celestial bodies, thus giving significant inputs for our scientists to learn more about them. But only if things were so easy. You see, the thing is, an infrared telescope can function in a cold environment. But there's the catch. It can only work under a super cold temperature. Talk about loving freezing temperatures. Another drawback of this instrument is the heat produced by the device itself causes the telescope to become blind as the system gets burdened. At this point, I'm really done with saying infrared over and over again. But anyway, it's true that it's a revolutionary state-of-the-art telescope. But what's the craze about it? That's the question your mind is asking you right now. And I'm glad your mind is asking this. Let me shower some light on it for you. The James Webb Telescope is where we can see satellite images of galaxies and the first stars formed right after the Big Bang. It is just as if we are trying to peek into the past of our universe. Apart from this, the spacecraft infrastructure has never been seen before. The big highlight of this telescope was its primary mirror, about 6.5 meters diameters. Fun fact, this is the largest mirror size ever to be launched in space. That alone should give you an idea of how big this actually is. Its large size dramatically contributes to the sensitivity of the telescope. In simpler terms, it can capture fine details of a celestial body or galaxy which is quite incredible. The entire mirror is divided into hexagonal segments in an array. Both the primary and secondary mirrors are covered with a thin layer of gold. Yes, you had it right, they're made of real gold. Now down to what you came in for the first place, let's head on over to the pictures James Webb has to show. The much-anticipated images of the James Webb Space Telescope were released by NASA on 11th February 2022. Before taking a look at the images, you might want to lower your expectations a little bit. If you're expecting enchanting and stunning portraits with deep blacks and punchy colors, 
you may be left disappointed. That is because the observatory is still working and is in the beginning three-month process of aligning Webb's mirrors, which are making the captured starlight images appear quite blurred out, which is probably the result of James Webb missing out on his photography classes. In a few months' time, meaning after the seven phases or three months, Webb will become fully operational, and the images will be much more precise and crisper as compared to what we will be getting now. Speaking of the images, the star that Webb captured is actually HD 84406 in the Ursa Major constellation. The image was brought together from a mosaic captured by Webb's 18 golden mirror segments which were all created in about 25 hours. There were a total of 1,560 images generated with and a total of 54 gigabytes of raw data from NIR Cam's 10 detectors. In case you're wondering what this NIR Cam is, don't worry at all, I've got you covered. Let me help you understand this before first moving on. I wouldn't want you to confuse you after getting this far into the video after all. To put it simply, the near-infrared camera is a wavefront or a primary sensor and imager which will cover the infrared wavelength of 0.6 to 5 microns. The NIR cam will be the control system of web and will be able to detect even the slightest of misalignments of the primary or other mirror segments. The NIR cam also has chronographs equipped in it, which can even block brighter objects allowing the dimmer ones to be seen more clearly. Now, astronomers will be able to detect even the earliest stars and galaxies, any stars in nearby galaxies, and even the more new stars in the Milky Way and Kuiper Belt objects. Isn't that fascinating? Also, what's interesting is that the HD84406 that we were talking about earlier cannot be seen from Earth without the help of a telescope. In fact, one of the main reasons why this star was chosen is because of its brightness. The star is not entirely crowded with the other stars and can be easily identified...